Hey there, Bipti here. Welcome to another short tutorial about Logic in Mindustry version 6. This time I would like to show you something really simple and really fun, how to use a switch. Switch is just this thing, you can enable it or disable it. So how do you read it out? Here's how you do it. First of all you need a microprocessor or a logic processor or a hyperprocessor if you're fancy, doesn't matter, and you need to link it. So first you click on this microprocessor, then you click on the switch and now it's linked, you see it by the purple thing, by the switch one above it, this is basically the name. But the question is, how do we read it out? How do we like make the processor do stuff with it? Let's just add a message block while we edit. We will link it up as well. We will use this to print stuff, just to see if everything we're doing is working as kind of a feedback loop. So first of all, what we want is we want to use a sensor. We use to use a sensor of switch one. And inside of here, we're going to this one. And we want to basically know, is the switch enabled or is it not? You can find it on here. And I'm going to call the variable is on. So if we have done everything correctly, we are going to look at the enabled thing of switch and we're going to save it in a variable called is on. And then we're going to say like if is on is equal to true. So if it's actually working, we want it to print enabled. I want to flush it to message one and we want to end it right here. Um, but if it's not enabled, we want to do basically the same things and I'm pressing this little button over here which is duplicating stuff. So disabled and here is the, here's the magic we are looking at, you know, if it's enabled, just skip these guys, skip all, skip all of this, and just go to this. Like, if it's on, we're going to print enabled, flush it out, and end the program. And then, this is how processors work, it will start over again at the beginning, and it will just do the same thing, you know? But if the switch is not on, we're going to not jump, like this will not happen. Instead, we're going to print disabled, we're going to write it to the message one, and we're going to end the program so these guys don't get executed at all. All right, so this is the basic problem, pro program. This is how you, how you read out the value of the switch. So the switch is on right now. I would expect the message to be enabled. It is. If we click it, it's disabled. <laughs> And this is how you read out the value of a switch. Of course, it get more, gets more interesting if you actually do something with it. I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. See you in the next one. Bye.